Well, we've been our AFC Wimbledon manager, Mark Bowen. Mark, has there been a little bit of an upturn in our mood since the game against Fleetwood last Saturday? Yeah, I, I think there has. Well, I know there has. I mean, initially, the you know, the mood in the dressing room after what happened at, at Fleetwood was 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 really really down. But I think you know, footballers being footballers and and people in the game, you know, you 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 have to and you do quickly sort of uh, have to get on with things. Um, and here we are now. It's Thursday before Saturday's game East Accrington, and uh, you know, sometimes let's say I'll say with a right smile on my face, sometimes miracles do happen in football. But we're very much aware of what the circumstances are going into the weekend. And the key message that the players will get from me and the staff is that, that first and foremost, we need to get a win. You know, it's been, it's been far too long. We all know that. The fans know that. So, you know, you, you, you take a bit of self-pride that you've got to have going into Saturday's game and thinking, well, you know, you, want, you don't want it to, the season to finish with, with that label hanging over us, if you like. So the key thing is Saturday, whatever happens, that we... We put on a performance first and foremost, and then please God, if we get a little bit of fortune or if we do things right, uh, majority of the time, then our fans at sat, uh, Saturday, I was going to say five o'clock, but whatever it is, maybe 2 30 ish, something like that, at least they are going away thinking, you know, they've seen their team win, and uh, the expectation, the hope, and the belief in them all is that we can, um, we can have a good season next year. How much has it been a test of your man management skills since you, you come into the job? What were the results that we've had? Um, yeah, it's always it's always a test. Sometimes it can be just as much of a test when you're winning games. You know, managing man managing players because players who are not in the squad uh, feel then as if they've got no opportunity to get into the, into the team and whatever. And uh, so it's all different things. I mean, you know, I've always said that as, as a head coach, as a manager, the easiest part is when you're on the on the grass taking a taking a training session. It's it's the other things around that, you know, um, the same man managing players and whatever. And yeah, it has been because you know you come into a situation where the team hadn't won for so long, and you know, some players, some players, it doesn't affect them so much. They 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 got a real strong mentality, and they they take it, take each game that comes, and they bounce back quickly. Others tend to get into a rut, if you like, and 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 they don't, they end up not showing their, their true character, their true form. Then so so yeah, that, that's that's been it has been a. It has been an issue, but it's something I've been doing for the last 20 years anyway. The inevitable question, of course, with Saturday's game, do you sort of concentrate on what's going on with us or do you have an ear on what's going on elsewhere at the same time? I think you'd have to, you know, you, you concentrate on us, but if, if anything drastic happens elsewhere, I would expect one of my staff to tell me. Yeah. Have you been in sort of similar situations in your past? I shouldn't imagine it's happened too often in your career. Um, similar situations in as much as... Not not in a situation like we are now, if you like, but yeah, I mean, most of the, a few of the clubs I've been in, you know, they've been coming down to, I mean, I was involved as a, a first team coach and system manager at Queen's Park Rangers when we had to go to Manchester City at the last game of the season. And um, that's a long, long story I won't bore people with now, but, you know, it was along the similar lines, but we had to, we had to, initially we thought we'd have to go and win the game. And as it turned out, we were very lucky because about three other results went in our favour, but but yeah, you know, it, it's not often it happens, but there has been situations where you come into the last game and um, you know we've got all those motivational factors with players and all those different scenarios that might happen. What with everything else that was going on last Saturday at Fleetwood, I think it kind of got got overlooked, got missed a little bit. That it was Dylan Aji Hershey's debut for the Dons as well. Have you been impressed with him since he's come back? Yeah, yeah. I mean, he's 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 looked bright in everything he's done, and and again we've put a lot of store in the way players train on the training ground. And um, their attitude to things and their character. So um, he showed showed me and the coaching staff enough that he was he was he was um, ready to come back into the fold. Yes, he's still a young player. Yes, he'll, he'll readily admit he's got lots to learn. But um, I've been very impressed with his attitude and his character on the place. And there's been a few lads who've, who've been out on loan, of course, at non-league clubs as well during the season. They've been involved in in training today. Could, could any of them be options at the moment or are you just having a look at them? No, I think the one the one that really impressed me is, is Alfie, Alfie Bendel. I mean, he's, I heard a lot about him when I first walked in the door, but he looks a precocious young talent, you know, and that's not, that's not withstanding that the other, the other players haven't caught my eye at times, but um, we've, I've said many times, I think there's, there's a good batch of young players coming who are coming through, who will, will like to think that they, they've got a, a chance and going to be in the frame certainly for next year as well. But I've said again, again many times that these players, sometimes it's not enough just to have the, 
the raw ability, you've got to have the mentality to go with it as well. And that's very much one thing that myself, Eddie Nesvesky, we look at as well in these players, how they're conducting themselves and how they have they got a strong mentality as well because that's the thing then that doesn't you know takes them to not just being players that catch the eye, but takes them to being players that can actually affect games. With 23s football as well, of course, I mean, sometimes it can be a little bit unchallenging, you know, you can fall into a comfort zone, but with these lads having been out on loan, do you think that that's a good thing as well, playing men's football? Yeah, I do. I do. It's, you know, 23s football is, don't get me wrong, it has its purpose, but yeah, I mean, I think any coach or manager will tell you that, that you want to see your players playing competitive football each week, and I think when they're playing with, with, uh, older, more senior players, let's say, they can be at times more demanding on them. And I think this is that's a key word for me with any young players coming through, with players of all ages, but they've got to get used to and they've got to be accepting of people putting high demands on them. And then obviously them as well, putting demands on, on their, their fellow teammates in games. You know, I, I see it too many times in, in football matches where players make mistakes and... and it doesn't seem to affect them, and I've, I've always been one of those. I like to see players, if they make a mistake, then do do something to change that, and 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 and, and try and um, try and affect the game in different ways that way. So it, it's 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 a you know football football is a complicated business, but it's it's a it's a key simple thing that that these players, young players, going out on loan to to non-league clubs or lo lower league clubs, let's say, then. Uh, it puts different kinds of pressure on them, but then they've got to come back when they've done that and then maybe go and impress whatever coach managers at the club they go back to. Focusing on Saturday's game against Accrington, is, is there an update on Alex Woodyard at all? Yeah, I think Woody's, Woody's going to miss the game. He's, he's, he only came out, he had, a, he had a plastic boot on to protect his car for a few days. I think he's only been out of that for 48 hours, so um, no, he's no one here fit, I think. In fairness, I think it maybe another sort of week, 10 days, and if we were in the middle of the season, yes, but certainly not for Saturday's game, no. Is there any other injury updates since we last spoke? Um, off the top of my head, not like I can think of. We just, we've had a few, you know, playing uh, two games in a short space of time. You know, well, we've had a number of games in a short space of time, but, but coming out to Saturday's game, we had um, little aches and pains and bruises to two or three players, uh, but, you know, that we've had to sort of Let's say just manage through the week physically, but yeah, here we are now Thursday before Saturday's game, and um, I'm hopeful of having everybody f available and fit for selection. With Accrington, of course, John Coleman's side is going to make it competitive, isn't he? Yeah, I mean John's got a, a history in the game of, of preparing sides the right way, and and asking certainly asking questions of any any team that his teams play against, and we were very much aware of that. So again, we'll we'll go into the game like we do every week with a with a solid game plan that uh, we think can, can enable us to take the three points. I think Wimbledon fans would like to see us obviously attack you know, from minute one, but have you, you've got to kind of wait for your opportunities though, yeah? Yeah, I think we have. I mean, we've, we've, in, my, in my opinion, we've got to win the game. But you, you don't want to, in, in trying to do that, you don't want to put yourself into a situation where you're chasing the game too much. So, as I said, you know, without getting too much away, we'll have a game plan. But yes, of course, the idea is our last home game of the season to try and um, make sure we, we, we're producing a product on the pitch that the, the fans are happy with and, they, and that product is, is good attacking football. Mark, thanks very much indeed for your time.